big true crime news here. Take a look. He's doing the best he can. You have to remember, he's not with the general population. He's isolated in one jail cell. His, he has no interaction with any other inmates. Uh, I see him a, a, as recently as, or as frequently as once a week. Uh, he wants to get to a trial. He maintained from the beginning of this case and still maintains today, he is not the guy. He is not the guy. Now, you recognize the gentleman just speaking, right? Our friend Michael J. Brown on the show this morning. He is involved in one of the most high-profile criminal cases happening right now in America. The representation of this man, Rex Hewerman, who is accused of the Gilgo Four homicides. Four women at Gilgo Beach uh, have been deemed by police to be connected to Rex Hewerman. But you heard Michael speaking out saying... Rex didn't do this, and now Michael's turning up the heat, big time. He's calling into question the former disgraced chief of police, James Burke, saying that Burke may have involvement in this case. And Michael wants to look at the FBI's files when they investigated Burke to see if that proves to be true. So let's bring back in our friend Michael J. Brown. Michael, I know you're limited on what you can say, so tell us everything you can tell us at this point about what you believe happened with that chief of police. Well, Julie, yesterday's conference, what we want to do is obtain the FBI files because it's pretty clear, and this is laid out in Gus Garcia's book, uh, Jimmy the King, that that the former police chief was a known patronizer of prostitutes and actually physically abused prostitutes and even got arrested in New York City for doing so. So when you have law enforcement, I'm talking about the Suffolk County Police Department and the FBI, generally they're going to have parallel interests. They all want to find who's responsible. It's pretty clear that then Chief Burke suppressed some of the evidence or the investigation, I should say, and, and really put up a wall and prevented the FBI from participating. And remember, the FBI has uh, some real significant expertise when it comes to these types of, of investigations. And, and that's really problematic for us that the police chief of the county that's investigating this crime is not permitting the FBI to assist and, and get involved when, when, again, they're supposed to have common goals. Coupled with his checkered past, that's something that's of significant interest to us, and, and we'd like to get the FBI files on it. Yeah, most certainly it is, uh, Michael. And, and tell me, in terms of going to trial, I know that there have been terabytes upon terabytes of evidence presented to you to go through. And I read in some of the reporting, uh, yesterday the news was exploding, as you know, about your client, about the press conference you had, about this news, because James Burke has been under fire before. He has uh, become someone who's been known as a former official who's been disgraced. And I read in some of the reporting that uh, you had said, we're not in any hurry to get to trial. We're going to go through everything and leave no stone unturned. Uh, is that true? Yeah, I'm not in a hurry. I, certainly my client wants to go forward. He wants his day in court, and he's going to get it. Remember, the, the prosecution, the government has had this case since 2010. We're going on 14 years. We've only been involved in this case since the arrest, which is July of last year. There is a significant amount of discovery, more than I've ever seen in my career, and, and more than most lawyers have ever seen. So although we are anxious and looking forward to getting our day in court, we're going to do it with due diligence, and we're going to make sure that we have the opportunity to review what we need to review. Michael, I said this one day when you were not on the show. I said the best thing going for Rex Hewerman is Michael J. Brown. Uh, you're doing a tremendous job advocating for him. Thank you kindly for sharing you, that information with us.